Hey guys, this is Krishna. Thank you for joining me on this uh, quick video that I have for you here. What we're going to cover is uh, maybe you're having a problem with your application, uh, WordPress uh, website, and you're saying that things don't really behave the way you want to. Uh, what you want to do is clear the cache of your server and as well, you could also try to reset your server as well. So. Um, before we continue if you don't have yet your your cloudways account um you're gonna find in the description um over here we have a, a link that's gonna provide you with a free trial this is a referral link but as well if you want to get an additional uh discount you're gonna find over here this code that's gonna provide you with 10 percent off for the next three months okay so with that being said if you already have an account just follow along with me so um, what we want to do is uh, look at how we can clear the cache of our browser. So we're going to come up here, uh, the cache of our server, I'm sorry. So we're going to come up here, uh, we're going to select the server, and we're going to go to settings and packages, I believe not. So it's going to be oh, manager services. Okay, this is where we need to go. So when we come up here, uh, we have all those different options over here that we can actually restart so we can all come up here and restart each one of them individually so we just come up here click on restart and it's gonna go ahead this one over here is pretty quick and we just restart each one of them especially the main catch uh the main cache over here this is an additional um uh, technology that it, that uh, Cloudways has that help a little bit with making your website a little bit faster. The main one that's usually the culprit if you're having issues with, uh, especially if you have an e-commerce website, is going to be Varnish. And it's, it, also if you're using some other plugins that tend to, to uh, that you install, that tend to uh, cache, uh, do caching on WordPress as well. They don't take. They don't tend to play along too well. So, if you find that you are having issues, you can come up here and try and purging. Or at you know, if you find that you know what it's really not really uh, getting better, just come up here and disable it. It doesn't really. It's not gonna hurt your website. It's really just something that does uh, caching. So if you see over here, is one of the several layers of caching for your application, right? So um, this is what you have. So this will be step number one to try to see what you can do uh, as far as um, in, um, removing the cache, you know, of your of your server and your of your applications. Uh, the next step. Uh, if maybe some of those uh, steps over here didn't really work for you, you just come up here uh, to the three dots that you have here on a selected server that you want, and you just come up here at restart, not delete, right? It's going to delete everything. We come up here at restart, and basically this is what, what this is going to do. It's going to take a while. It's going to stop the, the server, and it's going to restart it again right so that's another way maybe just to guarantee that you know um the information on your server is is nice and fresh so that's all i had for you guys so if you have any questions feel free to leave it below and i will talk to you in another video okay